because you need to be talking to someone about it. If you release these feelings through words, your grief can start to move again. It can escape and leave room for happiness and joy or anything to apologize for. The universe doesn't need you to be absolutely timid. stunning. Why aren't you thinking that? Where you are in your art right this second is the perfect place for you to be, not something that needs apologizing for. And if you aspire to be better, you know how to get there, and you will. But just because tomorrow's art will be better doesn't mean today's art has anything wrong with it. It doesn't mean you have anything wrong with Your grief you. is stuck like a car in a muddy road, spinning its tires. We have to get you moving again. You say, I force myself to smile, but all I can think about is his last moments. There are two problems here. Yes, I the love first you. is that you but force you yourself love to you? smile because you are worthy of love. Well, hey there, I'm B. I was diagnosed with a soft tissue sarcoma. I told my parents and my siblings, and at first they were like supportive in the way that you would expect, but then once I got put into inpatient care, I stopped hearing from them. Uh, wow. At the end of July, I lost my second roommate. His 19th birthday was in the beginning of August. I was invited by his family to his birthday dinner. It's so hard to look at his family and to sit there like, I got to walk out of the room and he didn't. My son didn't make it. And here I am talking to you. And I'm just happy that you're alive. I've been imagining what it would be like to sit down and talk to my parents about what's been happening and all the things that I would catch them up on. And I'm glad that I get to at least tell somebody's dad. <laughs> I'm I'm glad you get to tell me also. Oh my god, you guys are so great. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. I love it so much. What I would just like is a little tonal shift, a little more joy. So the thing that I'm thinking in terms of is like you've just met that person that makes you feel, you know, <laughs> like it's Christmas. Yes. Right? You've just you've just met this person of the appropriate sex and <laughs> things have gone far enough now that you know that they feel the same way about you as you feel about them. And so it's exciting and wonderful and the possibilities the possibilities are opening da, da.
Happy birthday, my son. If only I could have helped you. And the universe said, I love you. Everything you need is within. You are stronger than you know. You are the daylight. You are the night. The darkness you fight is within you. The light you seek is within you. You are not alone. And the universe said, I love you because you are love.